Hello, my name is Len Colbong. Thank you, Mom, for coming. Welcome you all here. Um, yeah, these mobs, are, they're dogs. They're a bunch of dogs. Don't slander animals. They're animals. Don't slander Yesterday, animals. They, just, they just took my phone for 18 years. I've got an 18 year watch from my son. Went for a visit yesterday, and uh, Anne Leesman comes up before the visit with a smile on her face and her paperwork and says, uh, You see him tomorrow, Wednesday, next Wednesday, and then after that, you see him once a month. That's a bunch of dog shit because he's not even with any family. My sister Vanessa has been trying to get him, she's trying to get an assessment. My mother, my other sister, since 2012, and these dogs have just, have just turned a blind eye. They've turned their back on us and they're, and they're pushing us to boiling point. What we're going to try and do is, um, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened for black fellows, this movement, because the grandmothers against removal, they're the ones that are going to do it. Over here, these men aren't strong enough. There's only a handful of us, and um, they're letting us down. We have to move forward, and this is how we have to do it. And us grandmothers is keeping them kids, getting them back to culture, getting them back their identity. This is what we need to do. And we have to force it upon the government to force it upon us and our children and get them back to us so we can work with them, we can deal with it. They're breaking us up, they're, breaking us up, they're tearing us apart and it's shattered me what they want to do to us. Um, yeah, I think we need to um, get something happening and, and then stop these mobs from having their celebration. Start a men's group. Start a men's group, yeah, and I'll lead that. I'll lead that. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just a bit shattered at the moment, but I think we should get someone out here to speak to us, I reckon. That's about you, Colin. I reckon someone should come out and speak to us. Is there anyone in there that can come out and speak? Children who's been in care since they were little fellas, born straight off the hospital table, living with wadlers. I want to know why they weren't brought to family. I want to know why, in a care plan, they say that we can't have visits because we're Aboriginal and they're traumatised. That when they see an Aboriginal person, they're that traumatised that they went to bed. They need a psychologist to turn on NITV. This is what's happening with this department today. It needs to stop. Look, I can work with the department. I can do things. But if carers don't want to help or nobody wants to see right, they can't do that. If, it can, if this department here knows that it's not a culturally appropriate home for these kids and they know that they should be home, give them back. Yeah. their brother once a month who's in my care. They separated. I had two brothers come down from Port Edland. This government department wouldn't even let them see their own brothers come down when they come down for a funeral. Hello everyone, most of you know me, I just, I wasn't going to speak today, but with land coming, I, I want to draw your attention to one thing here. Can I ask you all to look over here, and you'll see what we call Munich, the, the police, and Len, if you could come and stand beside me a minute. This man here is an absolute gentleman, and when you talk about love and passion and the way Aboriginal people are, I'm proud to call this chap a friend of mine, and I've seen his heartache, I've seen his passion, and this man has stood against the police because of his children, not because he doesn't like police. And this chap here, I didn't get your name, I'm really sorry, when he talked about the genocide and the attacks on Aboriginal people. Someone made the comment, we need to start a men's group. 
Will all the Aboriginal men in Perth and WA are mostly in jail because of false crimes, because of bullshit arguments and bullshit cases. So I'd say to Len, he's got our support. And congratulations to Vanessa Morning and Nicole for the march they did as well a couple of weeks ago. It shows there is community support against this genocide. And to the chap that spoke from New South Wales, I absolutely admire every word he said. It's time to uh, fight back. I'd love to hear before you finish from Jerry Jujitis from Stringer. Um, I'd like Jerry to make a few words after a couple of more speakers. Thanks a lot.